Hi everybody, this is Dale with Juice, and today on Detune, we are talking to Mark Prendergast. Bang. Mark, how are we feeling? Good, Dale. How are you feeling? I'm alright. I'm alright. I like this little setup. I like the yellow. Yes. I like the couch. <laughs> alright, so what was the first song you learned how to play on guitar? First song was... <laughs> Oh, wow. Which I think is the first song for everybody. Oh yeah. And it was sure. actually one of the first gigs I ever went to. So myself and Steve, the lead singer from Code Lime, mm -hmm. we went to see the White Stripes play in Dublin in this huge big venue. And I saw Jack White from the White Stripes and he just what what got me was how different it was live mm. to how it was on the record. Right. And it was just wild and it was chaotic and he was like he wasn't hitting, sometimes he wasn't hitting the right notes, but oh, yeah. it didn't matter. He was it's just raw. like, he was picking up a slide and it was just like, <laughs> whoa. That was the moment where I was like, okay, I really want to do that. I don't, I still don't do that, but you know, be a, be a guitar player. Nice. That was when my love affair started. So uh, with Codaline, what was like the first song you guys jammed? Johnny Be Good. Oh, nice. <laughs> So that can, uh, yeah, yeah. It's that. Yes. So me and Steve, the singer, used to just like sit in a room for like hours all day, just playing. Oh, just doing that. Just doing guitar solos. Oh. That kind of stuff. So that was, that was about two years mm. of our life was just guitar solos and the blues. But yeah, no, Tim Lizzy was what we played a lot of in, in the beginning of oh, Code Surprising. And yeah. we sound nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, I would have never guessed Tim Lizzy. No, like I was like, I, had, I, I used to have my hair long. I used to love like Metallica, I still do. Still do, yeah. But I was a rocker. Do you have a favorite chord? A favorite chord? Yeah. This, this is my kind of interview. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose I, 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 I like whatever that is. It's like an E minor thing. Uh, I'm particular to the uh, C sharp myself. Oh, you like C sharp? Yeah. Oh, that is nice, yeah. Like, do you think everybody has like an innate chord with them now? I think they do, like certain, yeah. certain bands kind of tend to, like, like all metal songs are a lot of them are just down there. Yeah, right. or, or like, or down there. Ooh, yeah. But, um, yeah, mm. I, I think Evan does, I suppose you kind of probably gravitate towards a certain mm. chord maybe. I've never, I've never thought about it. Because, <laughs> like, uh, I've noticed The Cure, for example. Oh, you big fan? Big fan. Every one of their songs has uh, an A chord in it. An A chord? An uh, A chord. Oh, my God, I'm not joking. <laughs> So like, like Boys Don't Cry would start with that. Yeah, see, there's something wrong with this. Oh yeah. Coda Line have that. Like the minute you guys start jamming, there's just one chord that kind of strucks with everybody. I think there's probably two. Like Ooh, okay. we, a lot of our stuff earlier on was in, was in E. Yeah. Um, and then a lot of stuff was in C. So all I want is in C. Yes, yeah, so all I want is in C. Yeah. yeah High Hopes is in E. A lot of E and C. I think E is like for most guitar players. It's oh yeah, it's the most natural. It's because it's like when you when the strings can ring out, it feels kind of good. Um, okay, what about for your solo stuff? I I read that Ashley B kind of helped you with the uh, perception yeah, of it. Yeah, she's a an Irish comedian and actor, and mm. she's a friend of mine. And well, she was one of the people who kind of like pushed me over the edge of doing it. <laughs> you know, because nice. it, it, it was kind of like there's a difference between having a kind of, I don't know if dream is the right word, but like a plan in your head of like, mm. okay, I'm gonna release music. Yeah. And it was like a pipe dream, I suppose, the way to call it, where mm. I had all these songs, and the songs were just in my laptop. And I wasn't, I was kind of like, you know, do I wanna put it out in the world and do this kind of stuff, you know, do? Yeah. And she was the one that was like, do it. The way she put it was like, you have to like, every couple of years in life, you have to like, do some kind of change or mm. overcome some kind of fear so you grow or whatever. She said it a lot cooler than of that. Of course, of course. She yeah, probably yeah. did a lot of swearing. She did a too. lot of swearing, yeah. yes, which I want to <laughs> for the sake of the cameras. Technically we can swear, right? Yeah, we Fuck can yeah. Swear. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you showed her like a couple of songs, right? That's kind of how you guys got the ball, ball rolling. Yeah, so the song, it's actually funny, it's full circle. The song, yeah. I have a song coming out uh, on the 15th mm. of September. Same day as the EP and the song is called What Are The Chances? And that was the first song I showed her, and I showed her in like in a, 
in like a club. We were in LA. Oh, wow. And she put the headphones on. And she was just I, I could see her face, and I was I was like really nervous because I hadn't shown many people. And she really liked it, and that, that's kind of been a real nice thing. It's like you know, cause I didn't tell anybody I was doing it. I, I didn't want to tell people that I was doing this mm. project until it was done. Yes. Because there's a the whole thing if you tell people that you're going to do something, you tend not to do it then. <laughs> I think we could hear a bit of that of the song. Yeah, or sure. Or like the version you showed. <laughs> They're the chords. Mm. What was that? <laughs> I don't even know what the chords are, but then the chorus goes... Oh, that's the wrong chord. <laughs> and then D. So my friend, uh, I have a friend called James Vincent McMorrow. Have you heard of him? Oh, no. He's a singer. He's an amazing solo artist from Ireland. And he came into the studio with those chords. So he actually wrote those chords. Oh, wow, OK. And he came in, he goes, I have these chords. And straight away, because I, I would never write chords like that. Yes. You know? And then um, I just heard the, those chords. And I was like instantly like locked in. And I was like, give me them. <laughs> and he was kind enough to write the song with me and another friend, Kieran, as well, so, mm. yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Speaking of friends, uh, Codaline covered LCD sound systems, all my friends. Yes, um, glad you brought that up. Yeah, great cover. Uh, is that like a dream cover that you want to do with the band someday? You know Voulez Vu by ABBA? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I'm obsessed with ABBA. Like, recently, I've become really obsessed with ABBA. I, mm. just think, I just think they're like, I think they're one of the best bands of all time. Oh, yes. I, I, I don't play that kind of music and it yeah. would probably be really, really challenging and I probably would not be able to cover it. Mm. But the whole fun is trying to give it a go. Give it know? a go, yeah. Straight up disco or would you like? Oh no, I, I'd probably just go straight up disco. Right. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't move too far away from what they did. Nice. They kind of nailed it. You know? uh, yeah. What advice do you have for uh, guitarists in Malaysia you know, who are just trying to pick, a, pick it up or like trying to be indie artists on their own, right? I think you have to play a lot. Play a lot, yeah. And you have to want to play. A lot, a lot of times people will, like maybe like parents might buy, a, get a guitar and like yeah. make them learn, but I think you have to discover it by yourself. Listen to, like listen to a lot of music that has great guitar in it. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be complicated guitar. It can be really, really simple guitar. It can be like the Ramones, you know, just the like Ramones, power, yeah. or, or Green Day. It can be yeah, like, you know, like power All chords. my friends just do chords, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. But I think it's about like, you have to you have to put the time in. You oh, know, some yeah. some people pick it up really really quickly. Some people don't. A lot of the time, people who are you know shredders who yeah. are like are like super fast and up the fretboard and like like, it's impressive. It's really impressive. But that's that's not the only sign of a really good guitar player. Mm. Good guitar player can just be really good by playing chords or something that sounds kind of good to them. You yes. know. So, I think what sounds good to you, if you can sit in a room and you can create a sound on a guitar that you like, I think you're, I think you're winning. So I've got an EP coming out on the 15th. Mm. There's a guitar solo on the EP. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Hi Juice Malaysia, I'm Man Alive. This has been Detuned. Please like and subscribe to Juice Malaysia. Yeah.